Hello, my small wonders. Are you ready for a story? This one is called Winston Was Worried by Pamela Duncan Edwards and Benji Davies. Shall we begin? Winston was worried. I wonder what he's worried about. Let's find out. Winston had a splinter in his paw. Oh no, wailed Winston. There's nothing as bad as having a splinter in your paw. I'm so unfortunate. Everything always happens to me. Hmm, he doesn't look very happy, does he? Hi, Winston, barked Angus. Want to bite some bicycle tires? I can't, cried Winston. I need to see the vet. I've got a splinter in my paw. Gosh, said Angus. Is it a big splinter? It is, said Winston proudly. It's a great big splinter. Nothing is as bad as having a splinter in your paw. Oh, look at what happened to Angus. <coughs> Poor Angus. <coughs> I'm so unfortunate. Everything always happens to me. Look, Winston was so distracted by his paw, he didn't see what happened to poor Angus. Hey, Winston, barked Rex. How about sniffing around the dust bins? I can't, cried Winston. I need to see the vet. I've got a splinter in my paw. Wow, said Rex. Is it a big splinter? It is, said Winston proudly. It's a great big, huge splinter. Nothing is as bad as having a splinter in your paw. I'm so unfortunate. Everything always happens to me. Oh no! Rex got stuck in the bin. And look! Winston was so distracted by his paw, he didn't notice what happened to poor Rex. Winston barked Bert. I found a new flower bed. Let's dig! I can't cried Winston. I need to see the vet. I've got a splinter in my paw. Yikes, said Bert. Is it a big splinter? It is, replied Winston proudly. It's a great, big, huge, enormous splinter. Uh-oh. Do you see what I see? Bert has made a bee angry. So what did the bee do? He called his friends. And I think they're going to attack his behind. Watch out, Bert. Nothing is as bad as having a splinter in your paw. I'm so unfortunate. Everything always happens to me. So again, Winston was so distracted by his paw, he didn't see poor Bert being stung by those bees. And look at this poor dog. A pigeon left a surprise on his head. Hello, Winston, barked Sophie. Shall we go and chase some cats? I can't, cried Winston. I need to see the vet. I've got a splinter in my paw. Golly, said Sophie. Is it a big splinter? <coughs> it is, replied Winston proudly. 
Uh-oh, what's going to happen to Sophie? It's a great, big, huge, enormous, gigantic splinter. Nothing is as bad as having a splinter in your paw. I'm so unfortunate. Now what happened to that cat that Sophie was chasing? Ah, there it is. Clever cat inside the lion's cage. Be careful, Sophie. And what does Winston say? Everything always happens to me. Oh no, the crocodiles are trying to catch her with their sharp teeth. Poor Sophie. And there's the cat smiling. Winston sucked his sore paw, but something felt different. Where's my splinter? cried Winston. It's disappeared. Winston gave his paw a big wet lick. Oh no, yelped Winston. I need to see the vet. I've got a wobbly loose tooth. Nothing is as bad as having a wobbly loose tooth. I'm so unfortunate. So there he goes, into the vets. Why does everything always happen to me? And who's at the vets already? There's Sophie. <laughs> and Angus. And Bert. And Rex. Oh dear. That was a funny story. Winston was so worried about himself, he didn't notice his friends. Did he really have to be that worried? No, he didn't. He made a big deal out of something so small, didn't he? Do you worry too much? Sometimes we can think something is worse than it really is. So the best thing to do is before you worry, make sure you take some time to breathe in and out. When we're relaxed, sometimes we can think better. And maybe, just maybe, our brain will tell us that there's nothing to worry about. If you liked this book, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you for our next story, my small wonders. Bye-bye.